everyone, Katie here with Omi Crochet and today we will be making this men's beanie. It is similar to the video I recently put out. It is just finished off a little bit differently. It, I guess, has more of a defined brim to it. But if you are interested and want to check out this tutorial, I will put a link in the description box below. So this is the hat that I made for Eric and this one for my son, the model in the video. His head measures to be 23 and a half inches in circumference. But if you need a bigger or smaller size in the video, I will show you how to adjust that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. The supplies that we'll be using for today's tutorial are a pair of scissors, a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and a yarn needle. And the yarn that we're going to be using is from Hobby Lobby. It's Yarn B Rustic Romantic. It is a medium four weight. And the hat is made up in the barnwood fence color. It's like a brown color. And it measures to be nine inches by eight and a half. We're going to start out by making a magic circle and then go ahead and chain up one. Into the magic circle we're going to place ten half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And just continue making half double crochets until you have a total of 10. Once you have your 10 half double crochets, go ahead and pull the tail end to close. And now we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For round two, we're going to start out by chaining up one and into that same space that we closed, we're going to place two half double crochets. The next stitch will also get two half double crochets and every stitch around you're going to place two half double crochets. So go ahead and get that worked up. Now that we're at the end of round two, go ahead and join with a slip stitch and you should have a stitch count of 20. Round three, we are going to be working into the back loop. So here's both loops of your stitch. We're just going to go into the back and then if you turn it over right here, you can see the third loop. We're going to go through those two. And the reason that I do that is just because it pulls the stitches a little closer. I feel like it makes it a little more dense, not as many big gaps and holes in your work. So for round three, the back loop and the third loop is what we're going to be working into. We've already chained up one yarn over into the back loop and then go under that third loop. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So the first stitch has one half double crochet and then the second stitch will have two half double crochets. The next stitch will get one and the following stitch will get two. And that's the repeat for round three. One, two, one, two, all the way around. Now we're at the end of round three with two stitches remaining into that first stitch, place one half double crochet into the back and third loop, and the last stitch will get two half double crochets. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. And at the end of round three, you should have a stitch count of 30. 
For round four, go ahead and chain up one, and in the first two stitches, place one half double crochet. The third stitch will get two. The next two stitches will get one half double crochet. And the following will get two. And that is going to be the repeat for round four. One, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around. Coming up to the end of round four, we have three stitches remaining into the first two, place one half double crochet, and into that last stitch, place two. And then we are going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. And at the end of round four, you should have a total of 40 stitches. To start round five, chain up one, and we will be working into the back and third loop for this round. So in the first three stitches, place one half double crochet into the back and third loop. And into that fourth stitch, place your increase, so two half double crochets. The next three will get one. And then that fourth stitch will be your increase. And that is going to be the repeat for round five. One, 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 two. One, 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 two, all the way around. We're coming up to the end of round five with four stitches remaining. In the first three stitches, place one half double crochet and into that final stitch, place two. And now we are going to join with a slip stitch. And at the end of round five, you should have a stitch count of 50. For round six, go ahead and chain up one, and in the first four stitches, place one half double crochet. And into that fifth stitch, place your increase of two half double crochets. And that is gonna be the repeat for round six, one half double crochet in the first four stitches, and then place your increase in the fifth. One, 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 two, all the way around. At the end of round six, you should have five stitches remaining into the first four. Go ahead and place one half double crochet. And then in that last stitch, you will place two half double crochets. And then go ahead and join with a slip stitch. And at the end of round six, you should have a stitch count of 60. And we're right about at five inches. After you complete round six, there is going to be one more round of increases. For the other hat that I made, I made it for my husband to fit his head and it measured to be 22 and a half inches in circumference. If you need it smaller, you can do a stitch count of 62. In the first 29 stitches, place one half double crochet. In the next stitch, place two. And you're gonna repeat that two times. You can also do 63, which would be the first 19 stitches, one half double crochet, and into the next stitch, two half double crochets. Repeat that three times. Stitch count of 64 would be the first 14 stitches, one, and then the next stitch, two. And for this hat, I am going to do a stitch count of 65, and Gavin, his measurement is 23 and a half inches. So I'll show you how to do that one in the video. If you need it even bigger, you can jump up to 66, and that would be in the first nine stitches, one half double crochet, and then the next would get two. 
repeat that six times. If you need to make it even bigger than that, in the first five stitches, place one half double crochet, and the next we'll get two, repeat that 10 times, and you'll get a stitch count of 70. To start out round seven, chain up one, and in the first 11 stitches, place one half double crochet into that back and third loop. Once you have 11 into that 12th stitch, place your increase of two half double crochets. And that is gonna be the repeat, 11, two, 11, two, all the way to you get back to the beginning. I finished up round seven and I have a stitch count of 65. And now we're just gonna go ahead and work up rounds eight, through 18. Round eight is going to be one half double crochet in each stitch around and I labeled that A. Round nine is one half double crochet in the back and third loop all the way around and I labeled that B. So it's just a two round repeat. We're going to start A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A until we get to round 18. Now that we've completed round 18, rounds 19 through 24 are all going to be the same and you are just going to place one half double crochet into the back and third loop. So there's not going to be this regular round of half double crochets in between. So keep working rounds 19 through 24 one stitch into the back and third loop. So now that I finished the brim part of the hat, rounds 19 through 24, we are going to do one last row and it is just into each stitch around through the back and third loop, place one single crochet. Once you get to the end of round 25 and place your last single crochet, go ahead and cut your yarn and then we are going to pull through and close with an invisible join. To close with an invisible join, find the first stitch of the round and go under both the front and back loop and then come to the last stitch of your round and go down through the back loop. And I'm just gonna push it through the stitch as well. And pull just tight enough to where it looks like another stitch. And now the last thing is to go ahead and weave in any loose ends. And thank you for watching.